I think what happened last year is where we were supposed to be as a program. We had three very close losses that hurt us deeply, but I think we learned a lot from it. And, and, and I honestly believe as much as I would have loved to have been five and three, I think we'll be a better football team in 2013 from being a two and six football team. We learned a lot and uh, it made our guys and our coaches a lot more hungry to, to come out and compete this year. In previous years, we've kind of um, set what we call achievable goals. You know, this year with that first recruiting class going into the third year and, and, and the kids we've brought in this program the last two years, you know, it's time to step up to the plate. Um, you know, we're, we're shooting to become a playoff team and that's, that's what we're looking for. Miles, he's the leader of this team. He's the emotional leader of this team. He's the physical leader of this team. He's the voice in the locker room. Um, he's probably the most talented football player in the country. And, you know, he's gonna carry this football team on his back to the OUA playoffs. Offense as a whole, very, very dynamic. Um, we can run the ball, we can throw the football. Um, we have the best quarterback in the OUA maybe the best in the country. Receivers, arguably one of the most talented groups on our football team. We're big, we're athletic, we're fast. I think we'll be led by Ryan Dunaway, um, a second year kid in his actual first year of eligibility. We'll have veteran leadership in Will Austin, who was an OUA All-Star last year. We've just completely surrounded him with some young talent. We have two unbelievable receivers that we recruited out of, out of uh, the province of Quebec, Jarrett Carson and Jason Charlin. I think it's about time we could say that, that our offensive line is a top four offensive line in the OUA. We'll be led by Max Sullivan, uh, third year offensive tackle. Um, he's got the size, the work ethic, and the football aptitude to play at the next level. Right beside him at guard, we have Jordan Moore, who's, who's going into his third year played every game beside Max his whole career and we have an unbelievable freshman from uh, Regina Saskatchewan Trevor King who's might be might very well be the best offensive lineman on our football team as, as a freshman running backs uh, tough to see Kyle Exume X leave the program but I think we have a couple of good kids that are going to be able to fulfill the role we have Connor Anderson uh, from Huron Heights High School in Newmarket Ontario via the NCAA um, who has stepped into X's spot and I feel we haven't missed a beat. Um, we have a great change up um, for Connor. Um, we like to call them 1A and 1B. Uh, Errol likes to call them 1 slash 1. Uh, Errol's a great change up to Connor. Connor's a big physical back that wants to run people over and Errol is a speed demon. Coach Como has done an unbelievable job since taking over as the offensive coordinator. Uh, Dwayne John, uh, our assistant uh, offensive coordinator and receivers coach has done an incredible job with the receiver uh, group and Bob Rainford, our quarterback coach. Um, the three of them have been the, you know, working very hard on getting this offense better and, and, and I think they've achieved that. Defensive backs, we definitely have some veteran leadership and second year player, uh, Josh Small, who's who's gonna be our, our boundary corner and, and one of our best defensive backs, uh, along with uh, Corey Bellardine, um, who's, who's, who's gonna be a veteran in this defense and we're gonna look to his leadership and, and maturity to help lead this group. Uh, I think we have some tremendous freshmen uh, in, in Connor Pretty. Uh, Samir Bullisreg is a uh, freshman corner from Lorne Park High School in Mississauga, Ontario, who uh, we're expecting great, great things from this year. Defensive line, we lost some leadership last year in Patrick Russell. Um, we are expecting uh, Jamal Campbell to, to step up. He's, he's a big, strong kid. He's worked unbelievably hard on his body. We're expecting some great things from him inside. We have two outstanding defensive ends in, in Kellen Aiken who will provide leadership to the group and uh, James Tuck is, is arguably arguably one of our best players on defense. Linebackers, very talented group. Um, number eight, our, our team captain, Hussein Hazime, will be the leader of this group. He is an impact player. He can play run and pass equally well. The Michael Ranowski, who has an unbelievable football aptitude. Uh, Emerson Morissuti, our Sam linebacker, is, is definitely a student of the game. There was a sense of urgency to, to upgrade our special teams. Um, we have Kevin Kitamura from, uh, from Newmarket, Ontario, who's, who's a transfer from Bishops University. 
who wanted to come back home. And we have a young man from, from Canada West, Nick Naylor, who has an unbelievably strong leg. Based on the four days of training camp right now, our, our kicking game has increased 100%. Damone is an unbelievable wild card. We expect Damone to be one of the leaders in, in, in punt return yardage in the OUA. He is a punt return specialist. He is also a very dynamic receiver. I think the athletic department made a commitment to this football team um, when they hired me. Um, they knew my expectations. Um, they knew what I thought it would take to achieve a winning football program and pretty much received everything I've asked for. And I, I just think it's time. I think it's time. There's a sense of pride in the kids we have in the locker room. They know how important it is to the university and, and they want it as bad as anyone. You know, on top of the school, I think we owe it to the alumni. Since I got here, they've been behind this football program, helping out in any way they can. And I think this university, this athletic department, has waited far too long to have a successful football program.